Hey, welcome back to Bame Farm. Playing more shop time today before I get out in the field. It's the very last or second to last day of March. April's coming up, so this isn't an April Fool's yet. Uh, I'm in the barn with our next project, which I mentioned in uh, one of the last videos about the disc project. Blades are getting rather worn down, and this wing has this exciting feature. It's so loose that the blades, instead of having a square hole, it's now round. And I think the uh, axle in it is also rounded, so it's not square anymore. Uh, we went and we got uh, some new blades for it. When we get to putting those on, I'll tell you all about that great deal. They were a good deal. That's probably why we're doing this right now. And because last year when I went way far away, 40 miles out to Adams County, we did, by we, I guess I mean I, did that that and this just to name a few issues not to mention the blades if we're lucky only measure maybe 16 inches and that's a stretch across and we've got some new 20 inches to put on it i really wanted to do 22 but uh dad thought those were going to be a little bit bigger and have some interference so we're just going with 20s for now. We got our lovely three quarter inch wrenches. Most of the bolts for the bearings, I'm very sure, are three quarter inch. Drop those. Our hardest part is going to be taking the bolts off the end. So, with myself and Brad and a whole lot of leverage on the end of a pipe wrench or two, we'll eventually get these broken loose. So, stay tuned for lots of action. So Brad went to get the WD-40. Um, <laughs> I guess being tillage bolts, working in dirt, they might get a little rusty. I broke mine loose with tons and tons of force. I guess we could be quick about it and just grind them off. But I don't feel like doing that. Because most likely, look at that nut. Look at that. How it's worn and rusted off on that bottom side. Probably will not put that back on. So at least we're going to be getting new nuts for these. And a good chance of new bolts. Other than a little rusty, I mean the bolt heads seem to be okay. They're not as exposed like the nuts are. Just a quick update. Here's Brad with the WD-40. I did have to put a lot of kicking power into getting uh, this bolt loose. Well, I've got the first wing taken apart. Um, I'm not taken apart, I got the bolts out of the bearing flanges, so I should be able to lift this guy right out of here. <laughs> not too bad. Now, when I put the new blades on it, uh, that could become much heavier, um, since we're gonna gain four inches of blade in diameter, at least, at least. Two inches all the way around. We'll probably clean this up a little bit to get the dirt out of there for tightening it back up. I want to get rid of these old um, harrow pieces since that's kind of broken and falling apart everywhere. Just to clean it up and make it look nice. At some point, yes, it'd be nice to really clean it up and paint it nicely. However, this is not that year. Because we need to get things done. And hopefully, we don't have a wet May like last year. So we can get things done. Now back to the action. It's time for He-Man Brad to lift off the gang. Whew. Look at those muscles. All 60 pounds of gang. So, top of the disc looks empty now. We're starting on uh, the bottom gang here. Yep. Currently, we have extracted all the bolts from our holes. It's time to start up the tractor, lift it up, and we can pull these gangs out from underneath. the hold 
up. Scrapers in the way. Scraper, no scraping. Haha, <laughs> got it. Now oh, we're all the way up. Oh, jeez. I tried to do it nice, but then I gave up. Gangs are pulled, time for the fun part of busting those nuts off the end. As soon as I have a buddy like Brad back here to help me hold all the pipe wrenches and create leverage, we'll get on with that. Well, Brad is working on getting our pipe wrenches set up. Time to break these bolts loose with the nut. Wouldn't it be lovely if we had a gigantic impact? For like an air impact you know like a one inch drive or something be lovely yep lots of things would be lovely we were using enough probably not we're not changing semi tires you know 10 times a day like some tire plays i don't think our air compressor has enough capacity for that but we did get a bigger one over winter so he's ready to watch us break something last time i did this last spring on our our i mean my ford disc I broke a pipe wrench. Are you Brad? Yep. Oh, come on. That's no fun. This isn't fair. Aren't you tightening? I'm loosening it. Okay. It turned way too easy. I'm kind of disappointed. Oh, yeah. Not that easy. Yeah, most disappointing thing I was expecting all sorts of like squeaking and squealing. Brad had a great impression of it last year. I don't know if I can duplicate it. Yeah, I remember. So just pretend in your head. I mean, it's still turning hard, but it's not. Horrendous. Well, if we get a harder one, I'll get back to you guys. You get the idea of what we're doing. I've just got a long way to get this thing off. And a whole other inch and a half of thread. Oh. That's the satisfying noise I've been waiting for.
bolted. Attach leverage device. Oh yeah. So you gotta wonder how much torque we're putting on this thing. I've got a well over six foot, almost seven foot piece of box tubing for leverage. Plus my weight at the end of it, and the weight itself. After a while, on one of these, it was enough weight to turn it. So how many hundreds, or are we getting close to a thousand foot-pounds of torque? Quarter turn at a time. So hopefully you have your sound turned all the way up for this. So far it's been going easier than the Ford disc repair last spring. 